Do you believe in dragons? I do. Throughout the centuries, dragons have played a role in the folklore of many of the world's ancient cultures. Dragons are legendary serpentine creatures in Chinese mythology, symbolizing potent and auspicious powers, controlling water, rainfall, hurricane, and floods. In European folklore, the winged dragon took shape. Written into the legends passed down through the ages, these dragons were distinct in that they were fierce, fire-breathing creatures ravaging peaceful countryside villages and mighty castles alike. Many a knight in shining armor did battle with these venomous reptiles to save a fair princess from the clutches of these monsters. But are dragons just mythical creatures found only in ancient legends? It may surprise you to know that the word dragon is found at least 21 times in the Old Testament portion of the Bible alone. We find a dragon in the New Testament as well. And if we travel to the very last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation, we find a fierce dragon prowling the heavens, searching not for a princess, but a king. You see, this vicious dragon considers himself to be the ruler of this world and will let nothing stop him from devouring the king that threatens his existence. So who is this ferocious and formidable dragon we encounter in the book of Revelation? Satan, an agent of the apocalypse.